The smog choking New Delhi has been linked to the burning of a crop stubble. It is the time of year when farmers are carrying out the practice as they prepare for the next round of sowing. But as Nia Pudia reports, local officials have introduced a revolutionary method this year in a bid to clear the air. For 800 years, generations of Vijaypal's family have tilled this land on the outskirts of Delhi. They've always burnt what's discarded from their paddy crop after harvest, but that tradition will end with 51-year-old Vijaypal. Every year, this is how most farmers in North India clear their paddy fields after a harvest, burning an estimated 23 million tons of straw. That's about one-fifth the weight of all the rice grown this summer in India, the world's second largest rice producer after China. Environmentalists say this widespread stubble burning can cause up to 60% of Delhi's air pollution. And now Delhi's government is hoping to put out fires with this solution. A biodecomposer mixture of fungus, jaggery and gram flour with water. Developed by the Indian Agricultural Research Institute, it can help break down the stubble and turn it into compost that will help fertilize the land in just two to three weeks. The government plans to spray this across 840 fields free of charge. और फिर उसको लाके गुड़ वगैरह कई चीज आइटम मिला के तो इसको किस दिन में तैयार किया जाता है तो फार्मर इतना वो नहीं कर पाता क्योंकि उसके पास टाइम शॉर्टेज होता है विदिन अभी आप दो तीन नवंबर से गेहूं की बिजाई शुरू हो जाएगी तो वो अल्टरनेट यही है भाई शाम के टाइम आए अपना जो भी दिन में अपना आग लगाई और अपना गेहूं की बिजाई कर दी the Delhi government says this year, twice the number of farmers have agreed to use the decomposer compared to last year when they piloted the project. But this burnt field is proof that not all farmers are ready to give up the practice just yet. I put this question to Delhi's environment minister who admits that wide-scale adoption will take time. So, I think that the Delhi has increased the number of people who have 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 increased the number of people. A bulk of the crop burning happens in Punjab and Haryana, the states known as the food bowls of India. Eastward blowing winds carry that smoke across 250 kilometers to Delhi, contributing to the capital's toxic haze. Delhi के अंदर बराली बहुत कम पैदा होती है, क्योंकि अब यहाँ खेती के जो क्षेत्रफल है वो काफी कम है। लेकिन दिल्ली इम्पैक्ट होती है हरियाणा और पंजाब यूपी के पराली से। For years, local governments have tried to stop stubble burning. They've banned it, fined farmers, and even jailed them sometimes. This year, Punjab has appointed more than 8,000 officers to monitor and stop stubble burning. Haryana is also offering farmers a cash reward of $13 per acre. But experts say because farmers are such a crucial voting bloc, governments are wary of upsetting the group, which is why bans and fines are rarely enforced. Environmentalists agree the biodecomposer that Delhi is handing out to farmers can be part of the solution, but it won't end stubble burning. Stubble burning is a problem of technology. The combined harvester which has replaced manual labor leaves certain amount of stubble in the ground. Now either a farmer will use labor again to cut, cut the remaining stubble or they will burn it. Burning of course is the easiest way to do it. If they use labor it is going to be expensive. So the easiest solution is to redesign the combined harvester itself. As a long-term solution, experts recommend getting farmers to plant crops other than paddy to get at the root of North India's pollution problem. Neha Punia, CNA, New Delhi.